Jesus, I can hear the shout of, of victors in the house. You are all welcome. Today, special meeting with the Holy Ghost. The super weekend, day two. You know, it been a full package today. Morning till now, we've been receiving more celebrated jesus today and we are celebrating jesus now hallelujah you are all welcome to today's service i just want to thank my highly esteemed man of god pastor dr tony thank you for granting me the opportunity to coordinate today's session to this section thank you so much pastor i love you i love you sir and i love all my pastor my mothers god bless you all and i would like to invite uh, I will highly esteem Brother Joshua to take us through our opening prayers. Put your hands together for Jesus. Our Brother Joshua, walk on stage. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Some give the Lord a praise. Your neighbor, this is Super Weekend Day 2. Hallelujah. First, I want to thank my man of God for giving me this opportunity to lead in today's prayer. It's been amazing. Yesterday's uh, opening section was also this is going to extend till tomorrow. Hallelujah. Right now, we're going to be taking our prayers, our opening prayers. First, we're going to start a scripture from First Timothy chapter number two. Therefore, that first of all, supplications, prayers, intersections, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. Hallelujah. Right now, we're going to be praying for all men, that salvation and righteousness reign in the nation the world. Let's begin to speak in other tongues. Lege bos ada hashta li bos ere hene ke balaba shata kabara bonde hene bos ada hashti logo bonda hashta kalika bonde hene logo bos ada hashti ne ke balaba bonde hene ba hashta kabara ba lere bos ada hashti ne ba hashta kabara ba ra rose ada hashta kabali ba hashta kaba. That's a mandate here on earth. Since we got born again, we'd have been caught up. But the Lord has left us here to pray for every soul. That salvation be met to them in the mighty name of Jesus. Kiso to the bones in the head, never hash at a cabalabane, no bone the head of Osa the Hashta, Ron the Hali, Corosa the Hante, Le Bone the head, Carosa the Hashta, Rebosa the Hashti, Rogabalabon, Nabarabosa the Hashta, Li Cabaraban, Nabarabos in the head, Rakali Kalos, and the Hashta, Rebora Hoshta, Calabondo, Roso the Host, the head of a Hashta, Cabalaba, Rogabalabon, the Hoshta, Calabon, the head of Osa the Hashti, Rogabali Cabaraban, Nabarabos in the head. Lebos and a hashta, Calabana Barabos and Hede, the Cabalabone, Rakalon, the Hali Cabaraba, Lega Sotorabos and Heste, Cabaraba, Hashta Cabrabane, Logabos and Heste, Cabalabana, Roco Lomon, the Hedi, Cabalabana Barbos and Hashti, Roco Lomon, the Hedi, Cabaraba, Leba Shata Cabalaba, Sata Cabarbos and Hashta, Rogolos and a host of the Deva Hashta, Logon the Hede, Leba Hashata, Leba Sotorabos and Hede, Leba Hana Hakabana. Rabana, 
Rahashata Kabalavana, Rabashata Kabarabon, the Heste Kabarabana, Barabos and Heste Kabarabane, Leva Hashata Kabarabana, Rabasata Kabarabana, Barabasata Kabarabana, Lorosa Hosto Kabon, the Heste Kere, Leva Hashata Karaba Handa Haraba, Lorosa Hosto, Lobon, the Hiriba Hashta Kabarba, Lavasata Kabarabana, Barabana, Barabosa Hashta Kabarba, Hashta Kabarba, Hallelujah. That if the clouds be full of rain, they empty themselves upon the earth. And we're going to be praying that every expectation will not be cut short. That the clouds of victory, prosperity, salvation will be poured out tonight. Let's begin to speak in other tongues. Everything that you come with. That expectation is met tonight, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Kosoto hosto robodi leba hasha takabalaba robosa da hashda. All questions will be answered in the mighty name of Jesus. Keleze de hashda kabalaba rogobola bonza de heshte kebalaba lo bonza hashda kabalaba nda lere boroso to lo bonde hele kebali kabalaba nde kovosa da hashda rabonde hele bonza de he kali bonde hele ba hasha takabalaba nde kosoto lo bonde hele ba hasha takabalaba nde. On the Hali Kabaraba, Lokabon de Hedebasha Takabarabande, the Kebalabosa Takabaraba Takabaraba, Lere said the Hete Kebarabosa, the Hashta, Rogabalabon, the Hashta Kabali Kabarabanda, Barabosa, the Heshte de Bahata Kabara, Logosa Tokabalabon, the Hedebosa, the Hashta, Rogabalabon, the Barabosa, the Hekabali Kabarabone, Kasa Takabaraba, Lokabosa, the Kereba Hashta Takabaraba, Barabosa Takabaranda, Barabosa Takabarabone, Labadi Kabarabanda, Hashta Kabali Bahashta Kabaraba. We're still praying. And finally, we're going to be praying first from the scripture, Ephesians chapter number 6. Let's start from 18. We're praying that, praying with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplications for all saints. And for me, that all chance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mysteries of the gospel. Hallelujah. Right now, we're going to be praying for a man of God and for everyone that is going to release tonight, that is going to take us to the next level. It's going to transform us, take us to metamorphose us to the next level in the mighty name of Jesus. We're going to be praying that Pastor is granted the utterance tonight as he ministers in his fullness of God's spirit. Let's begin to speak in other tongues. Koso do hosh de hede ba hash da kabarabande. No go sa da hash de de ba hash da kabarabanda. No go la bo sa da hash de de bo sa da hash da raba hash da kabarabanda. No go bo de hede bo sa da hash de. No go ba la bo sa da hash da riba hash da kabarabanda. Regele bo de hede de. Leba hash da kabarabose de hede ba hash da kabarabande. Koso to la bo sa da hash de. Rikala ba hala. Rogabose de Hede Bosa de Hashta, Rogabala Bosa de Hede Bosa de Hashte, Rosoto Robosa de Hashta di Cabarabane, Rogabala Bosa de Hede de Bahasata Cabarabane, La Bosa de Hede Bosa de Hashta, Rogala Bosa de Hashti Cabaraba, Rogabala Bon de Hesetele, Rese de Hele Bahasata Cabane, Rasso de Hashta Cabarabana, Robosa de Hede de Bahasata Caba, Rogosa de Hele Bosa de Hashta, Rogabala Bon de Hede Bosa. Rock on the ball. 
grace and glory. We are full of unlimited grace and glory. Go ahead and praise Him. Render to Him the calves of our lips. It's the reason why we are here to God. He deserves the lifting of our hands. If you can praise Him from your spirit, go ahead and speak in other tongues. If you can give Him your thanks in your known language, go ahead and thank Him. He's worthy of all the praise. This is the kingdom. This is the power. This is the glory. This is the kingdom. We honor your God. All the glory and honor, dominion and power belongs to you.
mala sabado shamante lendo sebado shamala si prado shamanta he is the god of heaven and earth mala sabado shali kateza our rock and our fortress manta si katoja lande sebado shamanta lendo si prado shamanta nan compesso a majestic god he is king and he reigns forevermore mala sabado shamanta thine is the kingdom oh god the power and the glory now and forevermore oh god we declare you reign oh god in the nations you reign oh god in our lives you reign oh god in our families you reign oh god mala sabado shamanta and confess to you Shamanta lando so do shamando se brado shamante lendo se brado shamala sa pradiza manta lando se brado sha speak to se brado sha speak to him male si brado shamante lendo se brado shamanta si brado sha mala sa brado shamante lendo se brado shamala si brado shamanta lando sobra do shamante from eternity to eternity oh god we continue to praise you in the beauty of your holiness oh god you are great oh god you are great your majesty you reign oh source of all things we worship you creator of all things we worship you maker of all things we worship you creation and test your greatness oh god there is none like you oh god
Hallelujah. Now I can hear myself. What do we say to our love of music and art? Wow. Can you imagine? This is praise night. Hallelujah. Don't mind it though. I have anointed voice. <laughs> when it comes to singing, eh? Today is a new day for you. It's a new day. Our man of God talked uh, through a series of things last night. He started off by saying, trees will become food of fruits throughout this meeting. Hallelujah. Vessel will become food of new wine. Testimonies will become full and complete. Before he gave us two points, he listed a few things, then he gave us two points of the food of food. food. One, you are full of faith. And the last, the, the second one, he said, we are full of unlimited glory. Such a worship is when the glory of God just settles in the atmosphere. The people who will come with knees, they're being sorted out. As long as you are in tune with the spirit. Then you'll be singing, it's a new day for me. It's a new life for me. Oh, it's a new chapter in my life. We know the ministry songs. What are you talking? You can decode it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Before we go further, I would love for you to do me something very important. It's so important to me. It's dear to my heart. Take up your phones. Your social media is your social media. At which you reach souls. Start doing sharing on the Facebook. By your 115 to 1, Facebook will send you an alight that you are sending too much. Just copy and send it to different groups. To WhatsApp. You are doing, what are you doing? You are sharing the glory. He said, this glory, which you are giving me, I are giving it to them. Which means he did not keep it. He gave it to us. So we are distributing glory. So take up your phone and do some sharing. Share it. People who are in different countries will participate. People, are, the whole platform of the whole world is on, your, is on your social media. And that's your medium. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So if you are there, turn with me into your Bible. As we lay Kuzi Zavandis into the scriptures. Leki Zaka Palagadaya. Praise the Lord. <laughs> My man of God told me yesterday, unlimited glory. So when I'm speaking in tongues, it's the, the limitless of my glory I'm sharing. Hallelujah. Zekuziki this. Psalm 100. Lakuzi Valinges. Leku Zagadas. I will decode this one for you. It says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Oh, yeah, man. Hallelujah. <laughs> to say, serve the Lord with gladness. Mm. Come before his presence with singing. That's what we've been doing now. Hallelujah. Oh, it said, know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that have made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. When you are thankful, your tank will be full. Hallelujah. Ziku Zagadas. Diko it. When you are thankful, your tank. You know, the, the car that takes the petrol, you see the back? It's big, right? That tank is full with petrol. So when you are thankful to God, your tank will be full. Hallelujah. It's a Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. And into his court with praise. Hmm. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the law is good. And his mercy is everlasting. And his truth endure to all generations. Hallelujah. Then while you are still there, 
We are still zikuvan this some of the scriptures. So turn with me to Psalm triple one, one one one, one hundred eleven. Leki zivan de credon prali grosu zifali gason de kilangre sidash. I will decode this one for you for people's sake. Maybe first time we're here, so I have to decode it for them to get used to it. He said, praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart. That is New King James Version. In the assembly of the upright and in the congregation, in our gathering here, you will praise God tonight. Hallelujah. Mm, it's praise night. Lake Iziki Vada. He said, the works of the Lord are great. Study by all who have pleasure in them. Makaloka Baya. Mm. Academic genius. This one is not your few or studies. This one is the study of him. So you are doing it tonight, worshiping him. Mm. His work is honorable, honorable, and glorious. Mm. Our man got talking about glory last night. And we are we are. We are flying in glory today again. Mm. And his righteousness endure forever. He said, He has made his wonderful works to be remembered. The law is gracious and full of compassion. Ah, I'm full of food. Food is everywhere. Food of compassion. Hallelujah. He said, He has given food. Food. This one is the one you chop. We did it today earlier. Uh, yeah. He yeah, gave it chopping to those who fear him. He will, he will ever be mindful of his covenant. Hallelujah. He has declared to his he had declared to his people the power of his works in giving them the heritage of the nations. Woo! Manu silingi safande kilongris. I'll read that one again. I, I, you are decoying it, but let me read. Say he has declared to his people the power of his works in giving them the heritage of the nations. Don't say I am strange to this nation. The heritage of this nation is yours. Hallelujah. You are never new somewhere. God has already given it to you through his word. He said, they stand fast. Okay, I think it again. Oh, seven. Seven says, the works of his hands are verity and justice. And justice. All his precepts are sure. Ah, yeah. They stand fast forever and ever. And are done in truth and uprightness. He has sent redemption to his people. He has commanded his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. He said, the fear of the law is the beginning of wisdom. Mm. The fear of reverence of God is the beginning of your smartness, wisdom. Break it down into pieces. A good understanding of all those who do his commandments. His praise endure forever. Ah, yeah. See, why when the choir was saying, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He prays endure forever. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And now we will call on our beautiful, we will have a beautiful poem from the team ministry. So watch and stay tuned. Put your hands together for Jesus. You clap again. Please don't put it on. Don't put, it on. Don't put your hands together for Jesus. Thank you. a price was paid. Sins were laid, judgment made, and the verdict was 
dead to pain. Many still look to this cross, thinking of the pain that was felt. In remorse, they cry in tears, repenting in anguish as though he is still there, missing the important point that the death brought life. Can you see beyond the cross to what was done when he defeated all, when he rose again from the grave, triumphant having defeated death? Can you see beyond the cross, past the nails that held him there, to the newness of life that he brought, eternity in humanity, joy overflow? Can we see beyond the cross, looking beyond the scars that he bore, to the oneness that was birthed, no longer alienated, but one with God? Can you see beyond the cross, past the blood that was spilt, to the infilling that came to us, the Holy Spirit without measure? I see beyond the cross, past the tears and shame he bore, to the inheritance that I now have, Christ in me is now. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! I know you are not hungry. Right? If I talk again, I want to hear your volume. If your, if your volume is in your pocket, please, wind it up. Praise the Lord! Good. Now I'm talking to people of God. Hallelujah! So, we will be having a beautiful segment. By our beautiful love of music and art is prophecy being fulfilled the meaning and the reason for Easter hallelujah put your hands together as we welcome the LMA to do a beautiful play Brother Ezekiel. Oh, glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Brother Ezekiel, you are blessed. Everything is working for your good. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise your Lord. school, you are the best. Amen. You are the head and not the tail. Amen. The lines are falling to you to please and blesses. Amen. You have a goodly heritage. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise you know, your Lord. family, you are blessed. Amen. No limitation at all. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. All right, church. We'll see you next week. Have a good one. Thank you, Pastor.
God is amazing. Yes, yes. Yes. Yes, 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 brother Ezekiel. You know, you had you heard the words of prophecy that the pastor said about you. The woman of God declared, you're the head and not the tail. So yes, you are sorted for life. The Bible says that, you know, he has given you all things pertaining unto life and godliness. But you have a responsibility, brother Ezekiel. Now that you've heard these words of prophecy, they won't just come to pass by themselves. You have to walk in the consciousness of them, declare them, work your faith demonstrate your faith about these things you know she has loaded and packaged you so you can go forth with those words good question you know what I'll tell you a story let me tell you a story of someone who was just like you, who had prophecies preceding him, you know, and he walked in the consciousness of these prophecies. Let's see the story. Making an impact. Why then do you think you're going to die? What is the motivation behind your talk? Do not be deceived. I'm here for a purpose. What you think is death is a means to an end. I came for a purpose and it must be fulfilled. Guys, he has lost it. Now death is a purpose? When is death now a purpose? Master, I think I'm beginning to doubt you now. Jesus, look at the money we've been making. Do you really want to stop now? Think of the impact we could be making. The places we could go to. Judas, money is not everything. There's more to life. Living for a purpose is more vital. Get your priorities straight. But money makes the world go round. Of course. Guys, 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 let us stop all this bickering. We have followed him all this while and he has never misled us. As for me, whether in death or in life, I will follow him wherever he leads. Thank you, Father, for you hear me when I pray. Thank you for the life of purpose you have given me. I have done as it was spoken of me. I have gone to heal the sick, free the oppressed, and mended broken hearts. Joy, peace, and love has been restored to many homes. As you sent me, I did the work. I never lacked, neither was I found wanting. Your prophecy is fulfilled in me. Huh? That is Christian Dior. Christian Dior. Do you know how much? Uh, do you know how much money that is? I mean, you, 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 you're wasting money. This project that we're into, it, it's, it's not cheap. I mean, look, look, look at the people that are following us. The people that are following us, the only food. Are you expecting Jesus to multiply bread and, and, and fish all the time? Christian. Christian to you, that could be someone's rent right there. I mean, I, 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 I'm the treasure. What's the point? Like, I, 
I'm, 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 treasure, honestly, you should be consulting me before you make such financial decisions. I'm out of here. Christian, you know, you. you know, I think Judas is right. This is a waste. It's a waste. You two do not know what you're talking about. Yes. What she has done is both useful and needful. Guys, he is dead. Jesus is dead. Oh my. I even denied knowing him. Gosh, man, he told us, but I, I, I never believed him. Guys, look, he's actually gone. He's gone. Jesus is gone. I have to go and see where he was buried. I have to see his body for myself. I hope they did everything right. It's his body. It's precious. Where is his body? He's not an organ donor. He didn't sign any forms. If you lost it, I'll sue you and I'll sue this whole institution. We're doing our best to locate the body. I hope you didn't cremate him. That's not what he wanted. Ma'am, you seem a bit upset. What is the matter? They lost his body. They lost it. Mary. Jesus! You see, Jesus came for a purpose and he came to fulfill words of prophecy that were written about him as you begin to study the word Ezekiel you'll find that there are words that are spoken about you in the scriptures just like Jesus you live out those words I will not do it, but I know someone who can show you how to live out the words that have been spoken over you. And that is the Holy Spirit, Jesus Unlimited. Prophecy come to light. My, my. Put your hands together for them again. That was a very Holy Ghost divine instructed idea for that play. Hallelujah. Hiya. The Konjimi slash Pito. Lake Zala I love you, sir. Hmm. Pito say I deny him, but yet I will roll. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So right now, if you if you are watching for all for the first time, is anyone in our midst for the first time? Okay. Put your hands together for the person. Our beloved first timers, I think Pastor Ime just stood up, they'll give you something they'll give you, if they haven't given you yet welcome to Love Australia Super Weekend your weekend will be supernaturally blessed because we are here, hallelujah praise the Lord we are welcome to our program where we all came to be raptured in the Holy Ghost. Then, our tithe and our offerings, if you have your tithe in the offerings, usher, please, and over your envelope, give the envelopes. The F power machine is at the back. And I will call the 
leave Pastor Ime alone. Pastor Ime will do the prayer for the for the for the tithe and offering. Pastor Ime, please give Pastor Ime a mark. I love you, Pastor Man. Pastor Ime will do the prayer. She will pray for our offerings and our tithe. Was our music minister? atmosphere as we call it our offerings. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. on the screen and be sure to give your offering because it is important that's where your blessing comes praise the lord Hallelujah. our father and our god we thank you we worship you we thank you for the privilege of giving and receiving thank you because out of the abundance you've given unto us We've come to appreciate you, to make declarations that you are the source of our prosperity, health, and, and promotion. We'll continually glorify your name. Thank you as we make declarations that there is continually meat in your house. There is no lack in your house. And because there is no lack in your house, there is no lack in our lives in the name of Jesus. We are blessed continually in all that we do. Our families are blessed. The works of our hands are blessed. We give glory to your name, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Ime. We call on our highest state, RMA.
worship God now. So even before the music starts, I just want to encourage you. Just begin to speak to the Lord. You are just lift up your hands. Just begin to talk to the Lord. Just tell him how awesome he is. How amazing he has been. Sura and Ariki Passo, Lira Onga Diva, Lira Osa, Masa, Sola Gadis, Shasi, Tereba Santa, Lira Masita.
awesome wonder. Awesome, awesome wonder. Oh, thank you, Heavenly Father. We worship you, O Lord. We worship you, O Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you, Lord, for all the testimonies that we have recorded. Thank you, Lord, even for the marriage of this morning. Thank you, Lord, for the home that has been established. Thank you for your harvest of blessings. Thank you, Lord, for all the testimonies of yesterday night. Thank you, Lord, for your miraculous power that is at work even now. We worship you, O Lord. We glorify your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have declared. And everybody said, Amen. Can somebody shout glory? Can somebody shout glory? Can the church shout glory? Oh, hallelujah. Tonight, before we sit down, just move around and say something nice to at least 10 people in this arena tonight. Move around, move from the front to the back seat, from the back to the middle seat, from the middle seat to the left seat, from the left seat to the right seat. Make sure people you never met, people you never saw, share that glory with them.
Shahai. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Just worship the Lord. You are the greatest. Oh, every promise, Lord. praising and worshiping God tonight. Tonight is a praise night. We have uh, brother Lies around, right? With his saxophone. Come. Where is he? I, with your saxophone. Where's your saxophone? You didn't bring it. Man of God, what happened? We love you. Glory to God. Maybe tomorrow morning he'll come with his saxophone. Hallelujah. We have people in the house. You will use your talent, worship God. Every opportunity we have to bless the name of God, we do it. We do it. That's the only thing we're going to be doing in heaven, praising, worshiping Him. For indeed, He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our worship. He's worthy of all adoration. He is an amazing God. An amazing God. You are amazing God. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Just worship Him from where you are. Malion de Sigra di Shahaya. Kora Baliga Bahaya. That time is here. Malion de Sivra Gida Bahaya. Kora Baliga Bahaya. I see things happening. Malibo Savra Kida Bahaya. Kora Basha Baliga Bahaya. Oh, you are faithful God, faithful God. There is none, there is none like you. You are, you are faithful. You are a faithful God. None compares to you. To you, Lord Jesus, you are. You are amazing God. You are amazing. There is none like you. No one is like you, Lord. You are a faithful God. You are faithful. Oh, nobody compares to you, Lord. You are amazing.
Mali on this Kora Baliga Bahai. And Lord, we are gathered in your presence tonight. We know, Lord, as we've worshipped you, as we've given you praise, we know, Lord, it's only beauty in our lives. You've taken away the ashes, you've given us beauty in place. <laughs> Arabo Sahaya, Leon the Saro Shahaya, Baracose Gibahaya, Matala Bose Vose Tequila Baro Shahaya, Manteri Baron the Scaro Sariga Balebo Sahaya, Mantete Bregade Selibose de Cresha Crido Sataron the Zidaha, Mataro Sataraka Bateke Bosahaya. Even in distant lands, things have been rectified. Kora Bariga. Shahaya, Balibo Sataramante Libaro Satarabahaya, Matarabasha Katekete, Lego Soprokira Bahaya. You are rearranging the order for our sake, Caro Soprekira Baye, Balibo Shatamante Rodaskira and the Sorahaya. You are rearranging the jeans, Cado Sepron the Sikra Disha Bonda Sirahaya, Malabo Sotoriga Bashahaya. Whether they call it a genetic disease, Lord, you have given us, you have given us your own self, Kalebo Sahaya. Our genes are patterned after you, Lebo Sobra Kira Bahaya, Malibo Sata Brademo Sata Liga Barabo Sahaya, Malibo Sataraba Shahaya. That which is impossible for the doctor to do, you Lord, you have done it, Malibo Sobra Kira Bo Shahaya, Rabba Sobra Liga Bahaya. That's the reason why we tell you you are amazing, Malibo Sataraba Haya, Rabba Shakaraba Haya. Amazing, amazing, Lord Jesus, you are amazing, amazing, Jesus, you are amazing, 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 Lord, you are, amazing, God, you are, Jesus, you are amazing, amazing, amazing. So you can stretch it out. The healing is yours. Karo Shaka Bahaya. Rabba Sotani Gabahaya. Rabba Sotani Gabahaya. Amazing God you are. Amazing God you are. Jesus, you're amazing. 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 Amazing God you are. Amazing God you are. Sabrakira on the zebra gida bahaya, palaro shatali baros kadibra di shahaya, mante robo zide bon the sigra di shahaya, parabo satala basote riga bahaya, paraba shaka lege bo sahaya, palion the sivre gida bahaya, bratinashi come, come, lay on the sira bo shahaya. Ah, Matalabo Satarabahaya, Rabalegebo Sahaya. Where's your wife? Sister Mitchell, if you are in the building, come. Ah, Lebo Sebo, the Sigrabo Shahaya. Recently got wedded. But we are not praying for you because of the wedding. You've been. Busy worshiping God. You were much younger when you started playing the drums for the Lord, right? And then the adversary thinks that they'll now put you on a wheelchair 
<laughs> they are wasting time. You can't have used these legs to serve God. You've used them to bless lives. You've used them to get people born again. You've used them to cause healing. Not only in Australia, in Zimbabwe, in other nations, healing is in place because of these legs. And the devil thinks that he's going to confine you to a wheelchair as a wedding gift. They are wasting time. That's what the Lord asked me to tell you tonight. They are wasting time. They are waste. They failed many years back. Many years back they failed. It's not by power. It's not by might. It's by the Spirit of God. They can carry their trade elsewhere. They can take their trade to the drummers of the world, not to the drummers in the kingdom of God. Malabo shata liga bara bahaya, paro sevron de sigre bon de sira bahaya. Malabo soto liga bahaya, para bale bahaya, paro soto liga bahaya.
bahaya liron sivra gira bahaya mate rede bosa liga bara bahe labo shata liga bahaya laro sobre kira bahaya there's someone here the devil has been busy telling you lies it's been selling lies to you it's been selling lies to you it's been telling you lies lying to you telling you about things concerning what is to happen within a short period of time it's as though things are going to fall upside down but i'm telling you the lord has canceled every plan it failed a long time ago failed a long time ago and you can where you are begin to declare the victory begin to declare the victory you know declare the victory this is not a time for gentlemanism this is not a time the bible says the kingdom suffered violence the violent take it by force we are the generation that take it by force we are the generation that will not take no for an answer we are the generation that stands before a door and we shake it until it opens Caro sahaya we are not the gentleman generation that one is past Caro sobra gira bahaya whatever it is that is standing on your way you're gonna shake it off shake it off it's an issue with your body you shake it off say no i refuse to accept this thing i shake it off An issue with your leg i shake it off An issue with your head you shake it off oh light will never accommodate darkness light must shine shakes of the darkness the darkness flees because of the light and not the other way around kero sabra gira bahaya thank you heavenly father for great and mighty testimonies that you have done through us that you are doing through us thank you for those who have been held in bondage by the adversary that have been set loose broken and free thank you heavenly father we worship you O oh lord hallelujah 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 can somebody shout glory i said dance around and shout glory i said dance around and shout glory dance around and shout glory dance around and shout glory hallelujah glory to god witness to three people tell them we have won we have won. We have the victory. Say I'm a gra gra Christian. I am gra gra. I don't tolerate the devil. I don't tolerate his activities. I have won. I have the victory. Glory to God. We may be seated. Hallelujah. Praise God. I think God made me to have walked with area boys for a reason. I don't tolerate nonsense. Especially when it comes to any of those who have been praising and worshiping God. I don't take nonsense from the devil. I don't and I have no apologies to render. None at all. Satan can grab any of my own. Turn their lives upside down. No, as long as you are connected, one that the man of God said, I and those who the Lord has given to me we are meant for signs and for wonders that is us that's us we are a generation for signs and wonders and i told you yesterday we are full of fool hallelujah can you say with me i'm full of fool i'm full of fool yes number one i said we are full of faith full of faith we demonstrate our faith we demonstrate it with boldness. There are many Christians who are too scared to demonstrate their faith. There are pastors who are scared now to lay hands on people. Not us. We lay hands. Jesus told us to lay hands. Hallelujah. We lay hands. Never scared to lay hands. Some who are scared to pray for others. You say, ah, please, I don't want to pray so that Nothing will happen. No. When we pray, something happens. Healing. Healing takes place. <laughs> I'm afraid to start a church. I don't know what will happen. Huh? 
we demonstrate our faith. Hallelujah. We start it and the Holy Spirit happens. Amen. And when the Holy Spirit happens, he has taken over, everything becomes great. Amen. Glory to God. That's us. Take the step. We demonstrate our faith. Hallelujah. Faith is to be demonstrated. Yes. The outworking of faith has got to be seen. Amen. The substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things that have not been seen. That's faith. Outward working. Then I told you we have unlimited glory. And I showed you yesterday in John chapter 17 and verse 22. See if you can display that for me. We'll continue from there now. Where Jesus talked about the glory. He said, and the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them. He was giving account to the Father. It's John chapter 17. I told you this is the Lord's prayer. This is actually the Lord's prayer. The one that they taught you. Uh, about that the Lord's prayer is our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. No, no, no. That's the format the Lord gave the Jews to use to pray. Here you find the Lord praying. That is the Lord's prayer. That's the record of it. It's in John 17. And as he was giving account to the Father, he got to that place and he said, the glory which thou givest me, I have given them. That means the same glory that Jesus had, we have. We are as glorious as Jesus is glorious. That's massive. That's why it's called unlimited glory. Unlimited. Cannot be limited. Doesn't matter the circumstance. That glory is still there. Still there. Glory is beauty. Glory is splendor. Glory is majesty. The glory which thou givest me, I have given them. Then the question arises, so... How did Jesus give them this glory? How did you acquire this glory? How did you get it? And that's why I love the Bible so much. There's nothing contradictory about the word of God. Everything is explained in the word of God. In that same chapter, he tells us how he gave them that glory. Go to verse 8 of John 17. Find he tells us how he gave them this glory. Verse 8. See if you can display that for me. Let me run with my iPad. Not iPad, sorry. I don't use iPad. I, I don't give to that course. <laughs> you understand what I mean? Yes. Yeah. Because every money that is given there for an iPad is, is used to fight against the church. John chapter 17, verse 8. He tells us how he gave them. He says, for I have given unto them... The words which thou gavest me. I've given them the words which you gave me. And so he transferred that glory through words. So glory is transferred through words. Can you imagine someone is having a bad day? You know, I used to hear testimonies from people. Ah, you come to Pastor Tony, you were having a big challenge. You leave the office, you are almost dancing. What did I do to you? I just gave you words. I gave you the word of God. That word of God brought out the glory that was inside you. Amen. That by the time you were living, you were just dancing. Hallelujah. And by the time you got to that same challenge, you found that you had already won. Amen. And now you had a testimony. Reason why the words. Words transfer glory. Amen. And that's why if you want your house to be so glorious, start speaking words. Amen. Speak words in your house. Speak words of beauty unto your household. Speak words of beauty unto your spouse. Speak words that are, that are, that are full, of, full of love, full of power. And then you find the glory of God begins to radiate in your house. And your marriage becomes so beautiful. Why? Because of the kind of words that you use. So glory is transferred through words. Therefore, I have given them the words which thou gavest me. And not only did I give them the words... But they received the words. It is one thing to give glory. It's another thing to receive. You give somebody something, the person might not receive it. So sometimes you might come to somebody, the person, uh, know what? You are a multi-millionaire. And then, the person looks at you and says, hmm. <clears throat> Did you say you are a pastor again? Oh, okay, 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 I understand. <laughs> Person has received nothing. Nothing. So no glory results. Why? Because even though 
you gave them words, they didn't receive the words. That's why you can find in a meeting, some people at the end of the meeting, they go back, they are celebrating, they are rejoicing, they are having testimonies. Some others came to the same meeting, they go back and their lives, if not worse than the way it was before they came. Why? Because some others did not receive. It matters for you to learn how to receive. Hallelujah. You are receptive to the word of God. Glory to God. When you are receptive, that's when the glory is revealed in you in greater measure. Hallelujah. And you tell your neighbor, the glory is revealed in me. For I am receptive of the word of God. Yeah, receptive. Every time the word of God comes to you, you take a hold of it. You grab it. Every opportunity of God doesn't matter who the man is. Every opportunity that a man of God gives and he, he shares words of beauty. Ha! Immediately you are grabbing, you are collecting. You are saying, I receive. This is God talking to me. When somebody is giving you words that are nasty, you say, mm, 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 this one is not for me. The person is talking about Satan. I remember one pastor in a church not too far away from me, a deliverance pastor, when I heard about it, went to a shopping mall and met one of my pastors and said to the pastor, ah, I can see, I can, I see. He didn't know that, they, the, the, the pastor didn't know that the pastor being talked to is a pastor. Just found a person walking along and perceived in his own spirit that this person is a Christian and so to make merchandise of her. Wanted to offer some nasty words. Hey, I can see the devil is just following. Huh? <laughs> she rejected it instantly. I said, you don't know what you are talking about. And moved on. Words that do not bring grace and glory, you learn how to reject them. Hallelujah. You must be selective of the kind of food that you eat into your spirit. I told you earlier on this morning, I showed you in Matthew chapter 4, verse 4, during the wedding, how Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeded from the mouth of God. That's actually the rema of God. The rema of God brings life to your spirit. The rema of God brings glory to your spirit. That rema is what you covet, hallelujah. Every opportunity you have, you take a hold of rema. Grab it. When I hear my man of God talking and pastor begins to prophesy, that's my opportunity for an increase, hallelujah. So Jesus said there, said, John 17, verse 18, he said, I have given them words. The words, I have given it to them. In verse 22, he said, the glory which thou gavest me, I gave them. In verse 8, he says, the words which you gave me, I have given it to them. And they have received it. And have known surely that I came out from thee. They have believed that thou didst send me. So glory is transferred through words. Now I'll show you another scripture. John chapter 1. Hallelujah. We have unlimited glory. Praise God. Unlimited. John chapter 1 and verse 16. Now the Bible makes us to understand that the glory that we have is a glory that is unlimited but incremental. And so the Bible talking about Jesus, who was the first to have this glory, this unlimited glory here on earth. The Bible says, and of his fullness... Of his, the work there is pleroma, of his completeness, have we all received. Now, pleroma means the maximum load. The maximum load. It's like saying, when you say the food of something, that means, okay, yes, there's a bottle of water here. The completeness. So, there is, this word, bottle of water is not complete. Some aspect has been taken out. But pleroma means that this thing has been filled to the brim. It has taken as much as it can take. Sometimes they tell you it's one liter, but it can actually take one point something, something liter. But they measure one liter and put inside it. But when we say pleroma, we mean not just one liter, but how far it can take. How much it can take. And so the Bible tells us of his fullness, of his completeness, of his maximum load have we received. Glory to God. I have his maximum load. Hallelujah. Have God his maximum load. Of his fullness, you have the maximum load, Labo Sagaya, of God. 
And he tells us when you've received fullness which you have, you're not struggling to get it now, you already have it. He said when we receive that fullness, it brings about grace heaped upon grace. So there it tells you grace for grace. But that means it's not, the word there is meant to be grace for grace. It's meant to be grace upon grace. Or grace and grace. That means you go from one level of grace onto another level of grace. When someone looks at you today, they see you are at this level of grace. When they come back on Sunday morning to see you, they see that you are now at a different level of grace. So the grace continues to increase. Hallelujah. Do we have anybody answering grace here? Oh, uh, oh yeah. Oh, Barabo Sakaya. So we have two graces here. Come, 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 come. Grace heaped upon grace. It's amazing. It's amazing. In that, display that verse for me. And they have a mad light. Of his pleroma have all we received. Imagine. Adelaide. Too much grace. Of his fullness has Basi Adelaide received. Grace upon grace. One grace came first, another grace added to it. Lift up your hands. Grace for grace. A new level of grace. Karo Shahaya. Balabo Sabra Kira Bahaya. Baro Sopre Kira Bahaya. Grace upon grace. Grace upon grace. Something extraordinary is going to happen in their lives. Before the end of this year. There's going to be a testimony of grace. You will know that they receive something. You will know they receive something. Hallelujah. Pick them up. Pale shokari gabahai. Grace upon grace. Karo shahai. Pale bo satalabahai. The God. Grace upon grace. Thank you, Lord. Hmm. Atalabo sahai. Something for someone tonight. Grace upon grace. <laughs> hmm. That's why the Bible also tells us, when you go to 2 Corinthians chapter 3, I said that it's unlimited. So that's all called unlimited grace. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. Maybe we'll start from verse 17. We'll read from verse 17 into verse 18. It says, now, the Lord is that spirit. The Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. That's why when you are in the presence of God, when you are in the house of God, feel free. The Bible says, when you do as occasion serves thee. That's the, that's the words that the Bible tells you. Do as occasion serves thee. When you are in the presence of God, when you are in the house of God. Don't allow yourself to be limited. We understand that there's got to be uh, some decorum. Yes, uh, 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 and the man of God said, worship God with understanding. But well, you know, sometimes the Holy Spirit might just tell you, go mm, go Don't decide, therefore, because the Holy Spirit tells you, and you want to, you know, you don't want to rebuke. Don't, mm, 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 mm. Let the Holy Spirit flow. Hallelujah. Let him flow. Let him flow. The Bible says, now the Lord is that way. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. You can dance away problems from your leg. Yeah. You can dance it out. You can dance away challenges from your life. You can dance it out. Don't constrain yourself. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Of course, as you're doing it, you're doing it with understanding. You're worshiping the Lord with understanding. You're dancing with understanding. You understand, I'm dancing for the Lord. I'm dancing for the Lord. I'm jumping for the Lord. I shout glory for Jesus. I don't shout it for any man. I shout it for Jesus. And in fact, the Bible tells us that we should shout glory in the house of God. It's in the scripture. Maybe I show that to you. Let me just do that real quick. So you grab that one first. Hallelujah. Praise God forever. Thank you, Lord. 
Bible tells us we should shout glory. Psalm 29, verse 9. You know, when you see us doing things, we do what we do. It's for a reason. Everything is inside the scripture. Psalm 29, verse 9. Give it to me in the Passion Translation. No, because when you read this one, it says, the voice of the Lord. Okay, let's just read the KJV before you come to the TPT. The voice of the Lord maketh the hinds to calf. Yeah. So if you don't understand, I mean, for those who English is their third language or fifth language, you know, you go hinds, calf, and discover it, the forests. So forests, I thought they have already been discovered. How can the forest be rediscovered? And in the temple that everyone speak of his glory. Hallelujah. You know? So you might find it that the, the words are not, they may be, you may find it difficult to comprehend. Give it to me in TPT, Passion Translation. God's mighty voice makes the deer to give birth. And that's exactly what he's talking about in the King James. Because when you go to the original words in the Hebrew, you find that that's exactly what he's talking about. So he says, God's mighty voice makes the deer to give birth. Then he says, his thunderbolt voice. Lays the forest to be bare. That means the forest is so dense. When, when God speaks, the forests are parted because of his words. So if you find yourself lost in a forest, when God's word is thrown up inside you or God speaks to you and releases his word, a pathway is made in the forests. You can never find yourself in the midst of confusion when you have the word of God. Can somebody say amen? amen. Can never. So it will part, it will lay the forest to be bare. We open them up. The forest is thick. At the time, the writers were writing this thing. The forest was where a thick place, where like a jungle, where nothing could enter in there and come out alive. But he said, the voice of God lays the forest to be bare. Then he said, in his temple, all fall before him, which each one shouting glory, glory, the God of glory. Hallelujah. Can somebody shout glory? Glory. That's why you see me saying, shout glory three times. Glory, glory, the God of glory. Three glories. And then sometimes I tell you we make it seven for each day of the week. Which means, oh Lord, you are in charge of the days of the week. And all we have is testimony from Monday to Sunday. Hallelujah. Tomorrow morning at service, we are going to be shouting glory seven times. Can somebody say Amen. amen. Because we have set the pathway on fire. The forests have been opened up for us. Testimonies are bound like never before. Hallelujah. The Lord. So we are on an ever increasing glory. Every time you look at us. By the time you see us again, the glory has changed. Super Weekend 2022, you will testify. It's much better than 2021. Now, can I have a witness in this place? Yes. Lift up your hands and shout glory. Yes. Better. That's all, Abu Sagabaya. You are a witness, my right hand man. <laughs> a witness. You know, there's so much that the Lord is doing. True in your life. When people look at you today, they see a different you. And by the time they look at you tomorrow, they see a different you. All you just need to do is to continue declaring, I'm full of fool. Hallelujah. I'm full of fool. Hallelujah. Full of fool. So it's ever increasing glory. That's what we have. That's what we have. Indeed, this is a season of glory. Glory without limit. And there are many angels at work. Satan would like us to believe that, you know, it's the medical experts that are at work. It's a lie. It is angels that are at work. Amen. The Holy Spirit is at work. Amen. When it seems as though the situation is very bad, everywhere is dark, that's where your light shines even brighter. Because you are the light of the world. Hallelujah. When it seems as though everybody is scared. Hey, we are about to die. We are about to die. Hey, COVID. So somebody just needs. Ah, we show. Everybody has taken cover here. No, no. For us, we are not the ones that take cover. They go at you. We say, oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. We are the solution. Bless you. That's us. We carry the blessing. We don't fear. We carry blessings. Amen. 2020 to this day, we have been doing what we are doing. We have not changed. Yeah. I have not stopped making and every time I make contact with people, I'm breathing their air. <laughs> Let me tell you a little secret. A little secret. In 2020, while they were busy with COVID scare. Mm. Baleondes. Korabaligabaye. Health officers. It happened in 2020. In one country. Okay? There was one pastor. His name was... 
Pastor, I. Okay? I didn't say Pastor Tony. I said Pastor I. Okay? And some of the pastor's brethren were tested positive. Okay? And the past, they came to the pastor. They didn't go to quarantine. They came to the pastor. And the pastor prayed for the brethren. And the pastor did not become positive. Instead, the pastor did better and was healthier. I chop COVID and COVID dies. That is Pastor I is the one I'm talking about. I said, I, I chop COVID. I chop COVID, COVID died. It's immunity that that Pastor I had. It's called the immunity from the Holy Spirit. The Bible says Jesus laid his hands on the lepers. The lepers did not become, the, he did not become leprous. He healed their leprosy. He laid hands on diseases. Take just once. Non once. He himself did not become in any way diseased with carrying diseases. And he said, we shall lay our hands on the sick and the sick shall recover. He knows we have unlimited glory that is not dependent on circumstance around us. Glory to God. Lift up your hands and say, I have that glory. I have that glory. Hallelujah. So that was the testimony of Pastor I. I didn't say Pastor Tony, but we are making progress. Hallelujah. Tell me about the wisdom of God is at work in you. The wisdom, that's it. You're the wisdom of God at work in you. Hallelujah. Some churches closed up. Say, so what person in that country? In that country. In that country. Some churches closed up. The pastors, ah, they found COVID in the church. They started with a big mask. Mighty on the pastors. Jesus was he serving? Did he understand he's full of glory without limits? Unlimited glory? This is the radical church. Hallelujah. Amen. And I'm Amen. glad to be a part of that church. Yes. Glory to God. Unlimited glory. Next one. Hallelujah. The angels are at work at this time. Amen. Doing great. And these are the end times. These are the last days. Working more than ever before. Maybe let me, Isaiah 52. Isaiah chapter 52, verse 7. Give it to me in King's version. I read out something to you from verse 7 to verse 10 before I unleash the next one. Full of fool. Abu <laughs> Sakaya. Isaiah 52, go to verse 7. Okay, maybe the computer has, has done something. I'll go there myself. Mm, is it there now? Okay, I better not rely on that one. No wonder Pastor warned us they want to shut the internet as well. You've been planning. Verse 7, how beautiful upon the mountains. So in case you don't know, better buy a physical Bible and hold it in case the internet shuts. That old Bible you never want to touch. It's time to buy one and put it on your, just put it there. So that in case anything happens, you have that big copy to go back to. No wonder they used to sing those days, we have the old time religion. Old time religion. Okay. <laughs> How beautiful upon the mountains at the feet of him that bringeth good tidings. That publisheth peace. That bringeth good tidings of good. That publishes salvation. That saith unto Zion, thy God reigneth. Oh, hallelujah. It to God it says, Thy watchmen shall lift up the voice. With the voice together shall they sing, for they shall see eye to eye when the Lord shall bring again Zion. That is this time. Can somebody say amen? amen. Then in verse 9, he says, He tells you what you're going to do. He says, Break forth into joy. Break forth into joy. No more mourning anymore in your house. No more mourning of all the bad things that have happened. No more crying of all the soulful stuff. See the husband that left it over. It's time to clean up your eyes and say, no, I refuse to keep crying. It's time for me to rejoice. Hallelujah. Amen. Your celebration can, has come. Can somebody say amen? amen? This is my time for celebration. Amen. My time for celebration. No 
more, no more, no more crying. No more crying. No more fear. No more hiding from all sorts of things. Break forth into joy. Sing together, ye waste places of Jerusalem. For the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. You are comforted. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Can everybody shout amen? amen? He has comforted his people. The Lord has made bare his holy harm. In the eyes of all the nations, all nations are experiencing this thing I'm telling you about. So I, those of you that are outside, of here, yeah, it's time for you to rejoice. Hallelujah. It's time for you to rejoice. And all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation. They shall see the extraordinary works of our God. Without limits. Things are happening without limits. From one nation to the other, glory is being revealed. The Lord is revealing his glory. From one house to the other, there are shouts of glory. From one working place to the other, there are tales of glory. From one city to the other, it is a story of glory. From one to church to the other, there are shouts of victory, shouts of glory. Hallelujah. From one person to the other in Love World Australia, there is glory being revealed. Can somebody say amen? Lift up your hands towards heaven. Glory without limitations. In your house, there is glory. Malebo shaka bara bahaya. Libaro shaka bahaya. Palabo satari gabahaya. No more sickness. Malebo on the sira bahaya. Palabo shaka bahaya. The morning is over. Malabo satara gaba. Tegebo sahaya. Rabba shakaya. The oppression of the devil is over. Malebo satara bahaya. This is a season of glory. Glory without limitations. In the mighty name of Jesus. Can somebody say amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Season of glory. Angelic activity more than ever before. Amen. And that's why every opportunity to celebrate, celebrate big. Yes. Celebrate big. Don't celebrate small. Celebrate big. Right. Make it big. Amen. If you have nobody to celebrate it, bring it to the house of God. We'll celebrate it with you. That's why you have cells. You belong to a cell. In your cell, they will celebrate it with you. If it is very big, they will come to the fellowship. The fellowship will celebrate it with you. If it is really, 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 really big, we will celebrate it big time in church. Hallelujah. Because every meeting is a time of celebration. Every meeting, time of celebration. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So I'm full of faith. I'm full of unlimited glory. Next one. You are full of life. Full of life. Full of life. Yes, that's it. I'm alive. You got it. <laughs> full of life. The world has wanted to show, the world has wanted to, to tell us and to show us that there's so much death all around. You know, you turned on the news and all you saw was tales of there's this death, counting this death, counting the number of dead from COVID, the number of dead from this. Hide yourself because you may die. There's a lot of death. All those at 80 have died. And yet, I mean, if there were so many people dying, you know, that's why I love Africa so much. They don't hide the deaths. You know, so if people are dying, then there's funeral procession. So you hear going, woo! You know, okay, somebody died, woo! Procession of family members and everything. So if it was actually like that and everybody was dying, in those countries, you would see processions everywhere. But that's not the situation. That what they were being shown was not accurate. It was not really like that. Because... In the arena where we live, there is no death. The arena where we live, there's no death. All that operates is life. The Lord told us we are full of life. Now show that to you from his word. We are full of life. Jesus called himself life. You didn't know that? He called himself life. How long have you been a Christian if you never knew what I just said? Because the way some of you are looking at me, it's as if, did I just, I didn't invent the Bible. I 
I saw it. I met it like you met it. Only the Holy Spirit knows what I just said. I'm asking, why is it that I look as though I'm alone in this place? No. <laughs> he said he's lying. That's what he said. He didn't say it once. He said it severally. The word records it. Okay. Let's start from John chapter 1. From one. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. Okay, everybody knows those scriptures. Oh, glory to God. Ah, many pastors in this place. Ah, I thought I was the only one that knew these scriptures. Thank God I have so many pastors. Every man a pastor. Hallelujah. You know, 6,600 is a reality. Ministers we are raising, 6,600. Now we have evangelist Joshua. Glory to God. Through you, many more in New South Wales. Many more, many more evangelists. Amen. You are betting many. You are betting many. Glory to God. Establishing more in the kingdom. More ministers. We need them in the thousands. It's either we produce them or they will journey to us. Imagine today in a wedding, we had how many ministers? I, I, I said, let us come and hand, hand the certificate over to Brother Basil and Sister Christiana. By the time ministers started showing up, I was like, dear God, how will we hold this certificate today? And the Lord said, you just watch and see. We will all hold it. And lo and behold, everybody were everywhere. <laughs> we, started, we carried the certificate and gave it to them. Glory to God. How many ministers wedding? Sabra Kara They journey towards us. We work with them for the expansion of the kingdom. 6,600 is a reality. Lydia, you will have many more in Adelaide. Many more pastors you for the expansion of the kingdom of God. Amen. Many more. We are working. The house of God is more united now than it has ever been. Amen. We are in the season where people are not saying, I'm, I belong to this one. I belong to the other one. I belong to this. I cannot talk to this one. I cannot talk to... No, 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 no. COVID has taught us that, that that doesn't exist. When they said lockdown, everybody locked down, regardless of what name you wear. Everybody locked down. Except, of course, <laughs> Pastor I in that country. <laughs> Hallelujah. Moved on. Glory to God. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. Same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. Then verse 4. In him was life. Life was inside him. Life was domiciled. Inside Jesus. In him. And the word life there is Zoe. And a man of God. Zoe means the God kind. God type of life. In Jesus was life. And that life was the light of men. So what men are looking for. Everybody looks for light. That light is in that life. Glory to God. And then Jesus continued. Glory to God. Let's go to John. Still in the book of John, we'll go to chapter 14, verse 6. In verse 6 of John, chapter 14, said unto him, I am the way, the truth, the life. In him was life. Now, you would have said Jesus was a carrier of life. Well, that is true. But he's not just a carrier of life. He is life. Jesus is life. So if something was dead and you brought life to it, what happens? The dead raises up and becomes alive. Jesus was life. And it gets stronger. That's why I said we are full of life. Glory to God. Can you say with me, I'm full of life? Because the Bible says, as he is, in him was life. I am the truth, and the life. As he is, so are we. I am the way, the truth, and the life. So when you see that scripture, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And as he is, so are we in this world. That means... <clears throat> religious mind can't get this. 
You are now the way. You are now the truth. You are now the life. Anybody that makes contact with you makes contact with life. That's why Jesus said, you shall lay your hands on the sick. And the sick shall make contact with life. And what happens? Recovery. Hallelujah. That's the reason why we can never be bedridden. When I made contact with Brother Nash's body, life made contact with his body. And when life meets life, because in his body was already life. So when life meets life, grace is here. There is a pleroma, a maximum load. That's why I can say that he will never be found on a wheelchair. There's a maximum load. Life makes contact with life. Grace heaped upon grace. Glory heaped upon glory. Life with life. This is why, you know, Christianity is the, uh, from the seed, and the on the seed of Baha'i. Christianity is beyond, is beyond religion. It is a life. The life of God at work in us. It is the revelation of divinity inside of us. The outworking of divinity. Heaven at work in us. We reproduce heaven. We are not just ambassadors of heaven. We carry heaven. We reproduce it. We are the reproduction mm-hmm. on the seed of Bahia. Let me say it in such a way that I will blow some people's minds. We are the reproduction of God on earth. Do you understand what I just said? We are the reproduction of God on earth. We are the reproduction of God on earth. Now, I didn't say something that's not inside there. It's in the Bible. Jesus said, don't you know you are God's? That's the question, Jesus. Don't you know you are God's? Human being. Psalm 2, verse 6. In verse, from verse 5, it tells us, they know not, neither do they understand. So what? They walk on in darkness, in confusion. All the foundations of their earth is full of COVID. It's there. It's inside. Psalm 2, verse 5. Show it to me. It's dead. It's inside it. Verse 5. I said from verse 5 into verse 6. They know not. Neither do they understand. So what? They walk on in darkness. That means confusion. All the found options of their earth are out of course. That means they are out of God's plans. God's plan is for health to be all around the world. God's plan is for prosperity. Everybody should be living in abundance on this earth. That's God's plan. Everybody should be. The whole earth is full of his glory. Everybody should be happy. Everybody should be joyous. Everybody should be prosperous. That's God's plan. But the foundations of their earth go out of course. When they allow these lunatics that know nothing about God to stand before them and begin to tell hey, hey, hey. everybody's about to die. Hey, hey, hey. You know, I'm hiding with my own children. Me, I'm under my bed. Jump under your bed. We are all, hey, hey, hey. All the foundations of their earth out of course. Stay safe. Hey, thank you. Stay safe. That, ear, that thing used to pain me inside the ear when somebody tell me, keep safe. Stay safe. As if I was, I was in danger. Stay safe. I don't need to stay safe. I am safety in motion. I am safety in motion. I carry Zion with me. So they run to me for safety. I'm not the one looking for safety. They run to me for safety. They will run to you for safety. Can somebody say amen? Amen. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run in and they are saved. That's us. Not us joining around looking for safety. Oh, it's time for the church to wake up. Hallelujah. It's time for the church to wake up. We have life without limits. We are full of life. I'm full of life. Can you say that with me? I'm full of life. Full of life. In my home, there's plenty of life. That when, when you understand this, he said, you are God's children of the Most High. When you understand this, that's when you come into your house and you say, in this house, there's no debts. There's no debts. 
I refuse to no death, no sickness, none of those rubbish, none of those diseases inside my household in the name of Jesus. Those are the kind of things I've been declaring since we came into Australia. That's why we have never carried our kids to a hospital for what? For what? Inside our house, there is no death. Cannot be death. Death has nothing to do with you. You are full of life. Hallelujah. I'm full of life. I'm full of life. Can somebody shout glory? I'm full of life. Full of life. Glory to God. I'm out of time. Tomorrow we have service. Hallelujah. We'll continue tomorrow. So we we are full of faith. We are full of unlimited glory. And we are full of life. Hallelujah. I'm full of food. I'm full, full of life. Rise up on your feet. Let's speak in other tongues. Marabo shaka. Lead on the sobre kira bai. Raba shata la bataka bai. Lead on sebro shata bara bai. Speak in other tongues like you have never done before. Malebo shata raba. You have life inside you. Kero shaka bai. Rido se groshata liga baramante laba soda riga bahaya palaba shata liga barabaye lero shata riga baha palabo sata raba shata liga baha as you are speaking in tongues life is being released onto your family even in distant lands maro shata rabahaya palaba shate ligo sata rabaha palabo sata liga bahaya raba shata dege bosahaya did somebody tell you you were not performing in your studies? Oh, Rabbi Shakaya, as you speak in other tongues, life is being released onto your studies. Your results are changing for the better. Did somebody tell you you were not prospering in your working place? Rabbi Shakala Bahaya, as you speak in other tongues, things are changing at work. Rabbi Shaka, take a Bosahaya. Was it as though your marriage was not working out? As you are speaking in other tongues, life is being released. Kalebo sata rabahaya. Palibo sata liga baye. Palabo sata rabaha. Malade sata riga bashata. Matoro soto riga bashata. Matata kabala bashate. Liro se bronde sira bahaya. Malade sata rabade gebosaha. Palabo sapa raga bale bosaha. Malira ne zabra gize bose teliga baye. Malabo sata rabaha. Words of prophecy are coming into your mouth right now. Malabo sata liga baha. Has the bubble up in your spirit release them? Laro shata haya, balabo sata. You have whatsoever you say, makero shahaya, balabo sata ramaha. All our brethren are prosperous, makoma masekete, libo shata riga bahaya. Blessings overflow, balabo sata, riba shata, liba le zako sahaya, balabo shata ramaha. Sound mind, makero shata. Rabba nege bosahaya, life in your bank accounts, matora bashahaya, life in your assets, makero sete liga baha, rabba ye bosahaya, mali bosata rabba nege bosahaya, matala bashane, rabba soba liga baha, 360 degrees around you, life at work, makero sata rabba.
around you, I'm full of life. I'm full of life. I'm full of life. In my path, there is no death. I'm full of life. In me is life. I show the way unto many. I am truth revealed unto many. I am life at work. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We are full of life. Ah, Yebo Sada Bada Baye. Ah, I was just like, we should just continue for the next one hour. There's so much to release. <laughs> but we've got to close now because we've got another meeting tomorrow morning, the grand finale. Oh, Rabba Degebo Sahai. That's tomorrow morning. But in case you are here today, you are not yet born again, haven't yet declared Jesus as Lord over your life. Or you are connected online, you haven't yet declared Jesus as Lord over your life. It is important that you do so now. Jesus said, You must be born again. Now, lead you into salvation, the Bible will, so that you can become a bona fide child of God, an endorsed citizen of heaven that is full of life. If you'd like to give your heart to Christ, just put your hand on your chest where you are and repeat these words after me. Say, Oh Lord God. I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I believe Jesus died on the cross to save my soul. I believe God raised Jesus from the dead and he's alive today. I declare that Jesus Christ is Lord over my life from this day by my faith in his name I receive eternal life into my heart I have eternal life now I'm born again I'm a child of God thank you Lord for saving my soul hallelujah if you've just said this prayer today congratulations you are a child of God now hallelujah and if you are here in the hall, you just said that prayer, please contact Pastor Esther or Pastor Lydia after service. Ask for them. They'll take you to them. And you can share with them and they'll tell you what next steps you need to take now that you are a child of God. We have a special book from a man of God called Now That You Are Born Again. We'll make that book available to you. And if you are online, send us a message. Details are up on the screen, christembassy.org.au forward slash welcome. Fill in your details. Make sure you click submit or you can send us an email. The email address is there. Or use the platform you are watching on now, whether it's YouTube, Facebook Live, whatever. Get in touch with us so that we can make sure you are firmly planted in the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Now it's time for us to close. Do we have any announcements? Yes, Pastor Rams. Oh, you are a son of grace. Carrying extraordinary glory. Thank you, Pastor. I see you are full of life. Thank you, Pastor. Praise I'm God. I'm full of life. I'm full of food. Yes. Thank Lord, you, Pastor. <laughs> yeah, Pastor has already said tomorrow morning about 10 a.m. We'll be having a glorious finale tomorrow. What you just experienced, just the, is, you, you, two days, right? <laughs> place upon place. So, full upon full. Wow. We'll be full of food. Wow. Hallelujah. Wow. And uh, there's after service, please don't go. There's a bit of refreshment at the back. It's Jesus' ministry. When you eat the physical, we'll get, when you eat the spiritual, we'll give you the physical. Wow. Full yeah. of food. Full of food. Yes. <laughs> so you'll be full. Thank you, Pastor. Oh, thank you. Make sure you be here on time tomorrow, please. All leaders should be here by 9 a.m. sharp. Thank Glory you. To God. Hallelujah. 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 If you haven't yet given your offering, you can do so. If you haven't yet given your offering, I understand you gave your offerings earlier on. But in case you are, maybe online you are just connecting now, you want to give an offering or a seed, you can do that now. If you haven't yet given your offering, you want to give via F plus, there are F plus machines behind that you can use. And if you're giving via cash, there are envelopes that you can use. Now just pray over all the offerings that have been given, those that have been given before now, and those that are being given right now. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord. 
for the opportunity to give in the house, in your house, Lord, for the advancement of the gospel. Thank you, Lord, for you have declared that as we give our tithes, the devourer is rebuked. You've declared, Lord, that as we are sowing our seeds, we are reaping a bountiful harvest. And you said our offerings are blessed and multiplied. Lord, I pour out blessings upon every offering that has been given in your house today. Lord, I declare that the Mimshak anointing, the multiplication power, is at work in all finances. That we are dwelling in abundant harvests. None of us will ever lack any good thing in this nation. But we are laying up gold as dust. Wealth is journeying towards us. And not only to us, but also to those who are connected to us. We live in unlimited prosperity. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have declared. And everybody said, Amen. Hallelujah. Let's close now. Can you rise up on your feet and just thank God for all you have received tonight? Thank God for the power that you have released through your mouth. Thank God for what you have received into your spirit. Thank God for unlimited glory. Thank God that you are full of life. Lift up your hands towards heaven and just thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. The lifting up of our hands is a sign of victory. We affirm that the word of God takes precedence over our lives. We affirm that the glory of God is revealed in us and through us. Even as we are going forth, we are going forth to manifest ever increasing glory. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We are life in motion. We are the way in motion. We can never lose our way in life. Of our increase, there shall be no end. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have declared. Amen. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit is with us now and forevermore. Surely, His goodness and mercy follow us all the days of our lives as we continue to dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. We are going to take our three glories. Can somebody shout glory? Tell someone I'm full of unlimited glory. The glory in you is on an increase without limits. Can somebody shout glory? Say I am manifesting glory. I release glory. I shine.